have to put your hand high up. If yeah, you do this, I, I don't see it. <laughs> but you saw it. <laughs> yes, because it was uh, right here in front. Yeah. Um, hi. Namaskar, please Namaskar. tell me your name. My name is Ben. Yes. And I guess my question is general, to hear your opinion about truth and proof, because I feel a very spiritual person, but I'm not practicing any religion, and I hear a lot about different religions, and I see how people are very sure about their belief, especially the high priests or rabbis or everything. And, but for me, it was always like, so he's sure he's right, he's sure he's right, and it's contradicting, I'm searching for like, so what is the proof, what is the truth, what is this stuff? So I can, I'm not believing anybody. So maybe you have something uh, to share about this. The thing is that, you know, religion, religion, what religion does, it takes the master, the antarguru, the soul, let's say, it takes the soul out of you, puts it somewhere, says that is God, and mediates between you and God. And it does that mediation by issuing doctrines, codes of conduct, systems of belief. So religion is about belief, and therefore you will always have contradictions between one religion and another, because there are sets of beliefs that are contradicting each other. But when it comes to spirituality, what spirituality basically does is it takes that that God out there and puts it back inside and says, the divine is within. Each one, each human being, each being actually, has the drop of the divine within. Now you connect with that. That is what spirituality does. So spirituality is not based on belief. It is based on experience. If I say something, if I say, Bent, you have a soul and now, connect with it, as you did when you were a little child, you were in touch with it. Now try to pierce beyond the barriers of fear and anger and shame and guilt and all of that, and try to connect with your master. You can take up that practice and figure out for yourself if you feel that or you don't. You don't have to believe what I'm saying, you have to take up the practice to know if there is something to what I'm saying or not. It's not about an opinion, it's about an experience. And that's the fundamental difference. So, one of the reasons why increasing numbers of people around the world are actually refusing the, the established religions is because the principles themselves, or the codes of conduct, or the ethics, or the, the mores and the doctrines that are imposed are are not experienced. People want experience more and more, which is why they turn from religion to spirituality, and then, then looking for spiritual inspiration that will give them an experience, that gives them the assurance of the truth here and now. And the truth, as is said over here, is to be experienced within, as the soul, in the process of discerning between the ego and its loud, clamoring, demanding, insisting, pushing voice and the very subtle, almost imperceptible impulse of the truth, the soul, the master of the being. If you are ready to bend in surrender and actually look for it and try to feel it, above that noise of the ego. Perceive the signal above the noise, you know? So in a, in a spiritual experience, it's your experience, there's nothing to believe or not to believe. And if you turn away from religion, then you're turning towards spirituality. Religion is a stepping stone to spirituality. And when you take that step, then you turn inward and see if you can tune in to the Master. If you have the experience, then you've experienced the truth. It's your truth, your Master.
your antar guru, the inner guru. In fact, the guru outside, the only work the guru actually has to do is to somehow ensure that you can get in touch with self, with the soul, which is what self-realization is. And that's when the processes of self-realization begin to deepen and grow and increasingly make this system an instrument of that truth. So it's about your experience, not about believing what anyone says. And that's the freedom and the beauty of being in a spiritual journey, you know. <laughs>